Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning into an epi another episode of The Drake Veteran. I apologize for the rather extended hiatus. I was getting married, and then I was moving several times. I Life was chaos for about a year, and now we've got our first baby on the way. And ironically enough, this is the first time in a long time that I've had free time. That being said, I've got a new setup and it is in a smaller apartment than before in a noisier neighborhood. So if you hear background noise, I apologize. If you hear something that sounds like a cat screaming or a cheesy caca signal from a movie, that's those are the peacocks and they're in heat. So there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> that being said, this is a video on how to set up peer-to-peer -peer and network clients for your software. Now, the big difference between the two of them is computational power and database integrity. So if you have a lot of computational power in your main PC, then by all means, go with the NW client because whenever you have that set up, one computer will be running the software for all of the other computers. This is really nice because it means that anybody can e-file or receive acts without causing issues within the e-file database. That means that you know whenever a return is accepted or rejected. And if a client has their refund sent to the office, it won't just get stuck in the cloud. You will actually be able to print it out. If, on the other hand, you have a very large tax office and you just need everyone to have the same information without relying on a super powerful computer, the alternative is to have an installation of the software running on the shared drive and then everyone will have a local installation that they'll run and they'll just use the shared drive or shared information. First, what you need to do is you need to you'll create a folder and you're going to share this folder. So you have to go to properties. Then you have to go to sharing, advanced sharing, permissions, and you're going to allow full control, change, and read to everyone. Or if you know how to designate it to specific persons, you can add them. Once you've applied those changes, you're going to copy this network path, and you're going to use this network path for every computer that you're going to create the network on. Go ahead and open up your file explorer. And then scroll down until you see this PC, and you're going to go to Map Network Drive. Don't choose the letter Z, it sounds confusing on the phone. And then paste that uh, share location, then hit finish. Quick side note, if you're having issues getting to this PC, just hit the Windows icon, and then go to Desktop, Icon Settings. And in Windows 11, this is how it looks. And you're just going to enable the computer icon. And then once you've done that, this PC is on your desktop. And you can uh, map or whatever you would like to do. And you can also open up your file explorer from there. Once you have the drive shared, what you're going to do is you're going to install the software onto that shared location. What that would do in NW Client is it will mean that the server will automatically have the icons that it needs. And for peer to peer, it just means that everyone will have a shared location. Now, a quick note about NW Client. Whenever you're, you're on the workstations and you want the workstations to also have the icons, you're going to go down to the NW client folder and you're going to run this executable. And as you can see, now I have the Drake 21 tax W drive. Once you've done that, to make sure that everything is running correctly, go ahead and open up the software and then go to setup, data locations. If you have an NW client setup, everything will most definitely be on the shared drive letter. So we've got a drink line files on the W drive. We've got it currently running from the W drive. If you are doing a peer to peer installation, then what you would do is you would run the installation from the C drive. And then you're going to come here and you're going to change this from C to the shared location. I recommend excluding that folder from the antivirus on every single device because the antivirus likes to delete icons, delete important files, stop you from opening up the, the software, or just breaking the software. 